My name is Leah Satan. I'm My name is Fred Benenson. I'm Dean Jansen. My name is Jeremiah Alexis. I'm Diaz Motra. My name is Lisa Mandel. My name is Gina Corolli. I'm a part of Arts Engine is a non-profit media arts organization, and we are dedicated to promoting, producing, and distributing social issue media, or media of consequence. And the idea is basically, media is a great tool for a conversation starter. Arts Engine picked up the Creative Commons licenses as a way to help people distribute their media. Our Arts Engine realized that uh, it was in their interest for people to share the, the documentaries that they're helping promote. And so long as they didn't do it commercially and, and make modifications, it was, an, uh, it was a good plan for Arts Engine to uh, start releasing works that way. And so if a video creator uses Creative Commons on their video, they can mark their video as such. Um, and there's kind of a, there are some technical ways that they can do that. There are some systems for it. Um, the viewer in Miro can actually see that the media is, is marked with a Creative Commons license. So that automatically uh, sort of lets people know what they can and can't do with this media. Creative Commons is a great tool for us um, for our online video. We um, have shown our videos online for many years, but it really um, ensures that we can share, that we can allow people to copy and redistribute, but it also uh, ensures that for ourselves and for our partners, um, that we're maintaining the integrity of the work. I have really been thrilled with the way Media That Matters has distributed Bush for Peace. You took it on tour to a lot of festivals around all sorts of places, and then really got it online in a time when not many people were putting video online. And it's now um, years later, like five years later, and I think it's still being seen all over the place because of the work that Media That Matters did to put it out on the internet. It's basically every filmmaker's dream. Okay, you want to be able to use other sources, you want to be able to use other archival footage that you're not going to get sued for. What's happening is people, as more people are using their computers as a central means of entertainment and um, watching all their media on their computer, um, having a license like Creative Commons is an amazing way to spread your media. We used the music of an artist by the name of DZK in our film Arctic Sun. And had he had a record company or a publishing house involved in the process, we, couldn't, we could never have afforded to use his song. But because we found his song online through Creative Commons, uh, we were able to use a great piece of music for our film. And he was able to bring his film to an audience that might never have heard it otherwise. It gives you as an artist protection and the control over what people can do with your media, while at the same time allowing people the freedom to share your work, to get your work out into the world, and to, if you want them to, like, use your work to create their own work. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of different ways you can, you know, control what is done with your films, but without limiting people in their access to it. I think Creative Commons has given our, our film a chance to really travel around the planet. The people have been passing it from person to person and sharing it with lots and lots and lots of people. I think Bush, is, Bush for, for Peace has probably gone out to several hundred thousand people. And that's because of the internet, it's because of internet video, and it's because of things like Creative Commons. Now it's just up to the media makers to sort of uh, learn about this stuff, learn about the advantages of, of open distribution, and, and take advantage of them. I think it's, it's a great means of opening up um, your media, particularly as a young filmmaker, and allowing many people to watch your, your film and your product. There are a lot of creators who are just starting off as well, really you know, big names, who, who have used Creative Commons as a way f to encourage people to share and, and uh, really push on the promise of technology and kind of participatory culture. I see Creative Commons and the, exchange, the free exchange of ideas, creative ideas, and the sharing of artistic works as only enhancing and benefiting everyone. The whole idea of creating media and you know, creating these films is to reach out to people, to show them, show them people, you know, to open their minds, you know, or you know, get new, introduce new ideas. How can we do that if we're just stopping this, you know, flow of knowledge, flow of ideas? I think new filmmakers really have to embrace kind of the new, the new media that's happening, um, and to think about ways to make that work with what you're doing aesthetically and what you're doing with your content. Um, there's a lot of great tools out there, and I think filmmakers, a lot of people out there are making films and are kind of holding on to their old world dreams of like what success is and how films can get out there. So it'd be really great to see filmmakers, you know, embrace, embrace new media 
in a way that makes it really powerful for the filmmaker. I think Arts Engine is really excited about working with Creative Commons. I think we've worked together for a number of years and because we have these different programs we're seeing um, the possibilities open up in terms of how we can really work together and, and I think there's, it's, it's only the beginning and, I, and I'm excited about seeing what can happen.